guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dallas Smith as you already know and I'm so excited to be here today is going to be another tutorial on how to tie your scarf if you not watched my previous video on this I have the part one on my channel please please guys do not forget to subscribe like comment and share I'm just going to go straight into this video Just to create like a form of star right there. 
you want to twist in a way that you know it looks like you're crazy like a what can we call it i don't know moving on just make it stylish doesn't matter how you make it look uh this does not look really neat but you get the you get the vibe so this one i'm trying to tuck it in somewhere so you're just tucking in at the back tucked in so you're moving this sideways so it comes to the side like this right it's not in the middle so you move it sideways so it looks like a you know all this um, um brighter kind of headwear and stuff so it kind of looks like that and i'm feeling it this is what it looks like so you twisting you have to twist properly so it looks really neat and it forms like a really uh, fashionable kind of whatever and moving it to the side is giving it like a very chic feel so so guys for the third step before i go into showing you how to tie the scarf when you have your wig on or your braids or whatever hairstyle you have on and then yes i'm going to show you um a style with chiffon so you know that once you have like a very um good foundation <laughs> right like like a very good base i mean the volume that is standing well you can go ahead and use any type of scarf on the volume like this just the same process just that you just need to tweak these styles so it looks better you know so I'm making this other arm to really tight you can see that so there's like a difference so it's just like this two I'm making it really tight and I'm just taking it around like this and I'm not bringing it to the front mind you it's going to be at the back and I'm just going to be tying it like this so you can have this tie this you can have this style this one you just you know because it's quite long you can see how long it is you're just going to look for like a way to tuck it in at the back so i'm just going to be showing you how to tuck it that in at the back at the back i think it's pretty well already so you have this style of scarf this one is just dropping from the back and coming towards your ears although i didn't measure that very well but you just do your proper measurement and make sure this side is longer than the other one that is going to the back like here so you have this you know raised look your face is looking so fierce and all that yeah so that's about that so guys i'm kind of feeling myself <laughs> queen's kind of look you know so let's i think we should call this um the queen style mm -hmm. the queen style oh no the royal princess style yeah i think the royal princess is fine royalty what did i just say i meant royalty so guys for the second part of this video showing you how to tie scarves on your wig or while you have your hair done without using a volume i'm going to be using this wig ignore this week show you how to slay your scarves on your wigs with your wigs about your wigs around your wigs whatever you get what i mean yeah i'm on my wig now and i'm just going to be showing you how to tie your scarf around this so guys please subscribe so moving on i usually set my edges just to make it really nice like nicer and then i bring out like two strands because it's like a curly hair depending on the type of hair you have on um this is like a curly hair so i have like two strands out each on both ends this is two right here and i just pack the rest to the back like this secure that at the back with a rubber band so i'm going to like be doing the whole um 
moisturizing, conditioning that I'm supposed to do for the whole hair. Like for this whole week, I'm just going to be doing it for these two strands because a girl's got no time, you know. I'm covering the rest, so why do I need to waste my conditioner? So I'm just going to go over and do that off camera and I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back, so it looks a bit longer. I did not spend so much time doing it. I'm supposed to like wet it for like, you know how the whole curly hair process goes. So I'm not about to go into hair stuff now. So now I'm going to be tying the scalp. So what color of scalp should we go for? This or I think we should go for the pink because it's going to you know, break down this look. And process and process two equal apps and place behind. So this is the back. And back to the front now. So taking it like this time, like up like this. So that's the first step, and you're just tucking in. You're tucking it in properly, and you're just carrying this like this, like this round. Like this, you're twisting both equal. I mean, the, the two halves, you're twisting it then around. And you're knotting at the back, knotting at the back like this. So just tuck it in into the cold ones, so you can just tuck it in like this. So that's it. Tucking this side in too. So you have this. And then these curls, they are not so great, but they do, they work for what I'm trying to show you guys. So but for you, take your time to snatch the curls. Yeah. Get those curls out, man subscribe so for those styles I tied previously I'm going to show you how you can tie those particular ones with this hair but the first one is just like basic style anytime any day you can rock that one if you don't want your head looking like it's big and bogus and all that so you can easily just do that first I'm just removing the rubber band from this hair this so you need to like pack the hair I'm just going to gather it right here so it is right in the middle of my head and not at the back it's in the middle now so i'm going to be placing my scarf on it same to equal as same process this and you're taking it just the way i showed you in the first um, video you're taking it like this and you know you're just rolling it round make sure you pack your hair properly like make sure you take it up properly and it's not looking like you, you have a millipede on your head I mean not literally but you get what I mean so you just tuck it in and make it look neater at the back middle front anywhere that may be looking out of place so this is it it's not difficult guys this is it it's just the way you pack your hair under the scarf that's just the problem so if you don't pack it very well like you don't put it in a position where it's going to form this shape it will form it so you don't have to pack the hair up like in the middle let it be in the middle and you make it a volume now your hair is a volume this is what it looks like i'm just going to turn to it make you see um so you can see what it looks like so a quick one guys a quick tip that would make these tiles look bomb asf is to lay your edges i have a video on that so just go over to everything is here for you guys just go over there just check it out you have your hair like a volume or whatever that you feel like oh this thing is a very good base and it's going to stay the fun is the way you pick yourself so i'm going to be showing you how to tie with your shepherd yeah 
so this one is like really i wish just touch your screen and you can feel this scarf but i don't know the exact way to like explain it but these two scarves are chiffon but one can easily make a volume while this one cannot so you can use this one to even make your volume if you don't have your hair done so it depends on the type of chiffon so honestly once you try to tie you will see if it works and if it does not work and i'm going to be showing you how i tie this particular scarf same procedure you have to fold into two equal arms folded and you can see this one is kind of short right turn it like this same way you can see it's like exposing a little bit of your hair there you're going to be covering it yourself so after nothing like this you're taking this one to make to cover this um other one that is showing so you're taking it to the back like this and you're bringing it back to the front and you are tucking it in here just right underneath the one that you're using to cover this one if you measure well you would not need to be covering anyone so now i'm taking this other one around like this making it really tight so that it can stretch to the front here and i'm just going to tuck it in there, right here so it's just like tucking it into each other but like i said this hair is like really high up so imagine if it's down this is what it would look like like this yes this is the style so guys we have come to the end of this video then do not forget to subscribe like watch my previous videos especially the part one of my scarf styles let me know if you want more scarf tutorials or more scarf videos and you guys is going to deliver so thank you guys for sticking for this long and watching this video and not getting tired of my face I mean, my face is pretty cute for you to get tired of now. So, what are we saying? You can't get tired, fam. Anyways, guys, thank you. Till next time, do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and watch my previous videos.